Okay, here's how to take out uh, the rest of the uh, battery parts. Uh, first thing I did is the logic board was just uh, uh, attached with some screws, which I uh, took out. Popped the top off. Then from here, each of these sides just had some tabs, and all I did was took a screwdriver and kind of wiggled it, and it kind of popped loose. And from there, you can just kind of stretch this outside frame apart and pull out the inside battery unit. And once you've done that, there's a cover that's just taped on. There's a little bit of tape here. This uh, tape was up on top. Here's the other part of the outside frame. So all of that came off, and all of this was uh, here. And there's 12 cells. It looks like it's a 6S2P configuration. Uh, the cells all terminate on this board right here. We can see... Tab. Let's make that beep. And we can see those just go like that. So if we need to measure the actual cell voltage, we can just do it right here. And we can see each of these cells is just totally dead down to zero volts. Oh, that one has one volt. So that's it. This is the uh, this is the second half of the video that I'll send off. Okay, this this pops off. Hey, you can see there's just these cells like this. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this old unit. I might try just to get uh, some cells of this equivalent to size, and maybe I can uh, attach those together and hook them up to this board and put them back in the case, maybe fly around as a scratch battery. Anyways, this is the second half of taking apart a, uh, a DJI uh, Inspire battery, and I'm assuming uh, you know, their other batteries are the same.